Thomas and nose head of makeup. The um, the week that we were filming was London Fashion Week. It's always it's always quite um, a challenge when working on um, video shoots. When you work on shoots like that, obviously it's quite it gets quite hectic and it's all got to be done in one day. What was mentioned mostly was the kind of um, almost like a kind of Amy Winehouse. Uh, makeup look. When working on this sheet, I used a lot of high definition products, um, which are makeup products that are specifically made for film and TV work. The concept was for a gig not just as a standard gig, an old school, grungy feeling gig. I got sent a picture of the stage a month before the shoot. I looked at the picture and kind of saw the stage and I kind of caught this little figure in the corner of the stage. And when I saw that, I sort of phoned up my gaffer and said, um, we're going to have to bring some very, very serious lighting. Camden Bar for life in London. <laughs> um, now we just made a gig. It's a fun experience. It was like intimidating in some places, but like. Being up to 24 hours and having to run around like a nutcase, we don't want to do it for 24 hours. And being forced to bed, smokehead whiskey. Who's going to enjoy that? It's 11 am in the morning, so uh, now's a good time to crack the whiskey open. If we turned up on the day, no rehearsal whatsoever, I think that would have been just absolutely terrified. Even with the rehearsal, I found that I was still nervous, and the actors, as well as it being that we ended up rehearsing with actresses that we didn't end up using, definitely worth it, definitely needed it to sort of warm, warm me into it. In terms of the sheer scale of the building and the prep that was required and don't think it's coming even close really, we had to light six rooms uh, simultaneously and we used 30,000 watts of lighting. We planned for about three weeks how this three days were going to run. Well we normally spend about three days planning how three weeks are going to run. when we started shooting uh, live stuff. Four words explain how the fuck you feel right this second. Even later than that. Yeah, later than that. <laughs> About midnight. And we did that, what, three hours? <laughs> and that was when we were already knackered. <laughs> we're a bit drunk. <laughs> and one of the acts I could do the, the argument scene and I was used to the way that the rehearsal had gone with, with a certain actress and this one just lost it at me. It was a shock to the system and scared the shit out of me. <laughs> we wanted smoke in the video. It helps the lighting a lot. We could certainly in some of the more expressionistic um, stage and theatrical lighting, having smoke allows you to really see the shafts of light that are about. We had something like about four smoke machines running um, at the one time to fill this hall which was massive. We were shooting in the bar and I kept filling it with smoke. We kept pouring smoke in and pouring smoke in and it just kept disappearing and disappearing. I wondered where it was going. When we had a break, I went to go and check how the lighting in the auditorium was going. I, I got out of these double doors and I couldn't see the stage um, because all of the smoke that we'd been pouring into the bar had been disappearing out of the double doors, up the stairs and then sinking into the stage. You now couldn't see a thing. It always finds a way to get out of the building. When 
we first turned up, like, holy shit, like, they're painting stuff on the walls. Yeah. Fucking grand designs we first turned up. When you see it happening on TV or something, you don't appreciate all the effort that's going into something like this. We sort of didn't notice the massive team behind us, like, loads of people doing loads of different stuff. It's, like, intimidating in some places, but, like, a lot of the time you weren't really thinking about them. It's too much stuff to think about. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. We were a bit worried about how the video was actually going to come out, but I mean, with it going through editing, colouring, all of that, it's actually come out brilliant. Having every meeting at like nine in the morning in a pub is interesting. I first met Tom in autumn. He managed to set the record for the longest meeting I've ever had with anybody. We spent about four hours buried in the pub in Covent Garden. I think I'd met Tom briefly at um, a Nylon Sky filming, just a random meeting maybe. So I didn't actually know until we actually met Tom. I thought, hey, I'm going to go to Nylon Sky. His directing style uh, is very interesting. Um, he's a very honest director, he's a very brash director. Um, he knows what he wants, which for me is great, and that allowed this video to be possible.